Good morning, sisters, brothers, friends, and family. How y'all doing this morning? Okay, I'm at work. I got about three nuggets going through my head right now, or shall I say my, my heart, my spirit man right now. So anyway, um, let me just kind of release one before I don't want to lose it. Lord, help me remember the other ones too, because I, I don't have a pen and paper to write it down. Can I get a witness? But I do have the mind of Christ. Okay, so let's release first nugget. All right, now, um, when you see family and friends and, you know, people and you see them bound in their darkness and their sin, maybe they're, you know, maybe they're bound and addicted and afflicted and what have you. But anyway, what you want to do is uh, ask Jesus right now if he would give you his eyes so that you could see the completed finished work that he sees when he looks at us deep in our, in our, in our mess, you see. He sees us in our robe of righteousness. So if you could see the potential and if you could see the purpose and call forth their gifting, call forth their potential, call forth the new man recreated in Christ Jesus. Can I get a witness? Because rotten roots produce rotten fruit. So you, you, you may be looking at the fruit of someone's life, but you don't see there the completed work, the completed work in Jesus Christ. You see, when God created us, he, he gave us a destiny and a purpose and a plan. And um, he knows the, the end from the beginning. So before the foundation of the world, when he created us, you know, he, each and every one of us, nobody has our fingerprints. You know, we are unique and we are perfect for our purpose. So you, you need to be the best you that you could be, the you that he created you to be, not to be an imitator, not to be an a imposter, not to be someone else. You are to be you, so you are to find and discover who he created you to be, your identity in him, that you could fulfill the destiny and the calling that's upon your life. So when you look at somebody and they're deep in their mess, the Lord wants me to tell you something. Don't forget where you came from. Okay, you know, people see the new man now, but they, we were all a mess before Jesus. So if you see somebody that's in a mess, the Lord says he wants you to become their champion intercessor. So if you don't know where to start, we need to shut our pie holes, quit judging, quit talking about them, and get on your knees and start praying for them. That might be a word for somebody. It was for me a long time ago. The Lord told me, he said, hey, don't forget where you came from. You was a, you was a hot mess before I got a hold of you. Can I get a witness? So start praying for them. When you see somebody and they're bound in their darkness, remember, Jesus is our high priest. He's our chief intercessor. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he intercedes for us 24 for seven for me and you that we don't fall into temptation can I get a witness now the Holy Spirit is a, an assessor also and he makes intercessions through us with groanings can I get a witness for others for the body of Christ and he makes intercession through us for all the saints and Jesus makes an accession 27, 24, 7 for us that we stay true to our calling, that we don't give up, that we don't grow weary, and that we run this way, race, that we might become an overcome, he says, he who overcomes to the end. We need to overcome till the end. So when he comes back, will we be found faithful for the just shall live by faith? And we, will we still be trucking on, you know, with the great commission, fulfilling the call of God on our life? So anyway, an intercessor, I hear someone right now saying, well, what is an intercessor? An intercessor is a prayer warrior and not a prayer warrior. <laughs> I just heard that in my spirit. I heard prayer war warrior. Some of you are prayer warriors. You only pray when you're worried about something. He says he wants to change that around, and he wants you to be a prayer warrior where you will trust him in all things, where you will grab hold of the 7,500 promises of God, which are yes and amen. So you got to know God's promises so you can confess them and hold on to them and believe them and receive them and in his time, and then you will have them. So 
no longer will you be a prayer warrior, you will be a prayer warrior. God wants you to be a champion and an assessor that will stand in the gap and make up the hedge for your family and your friends and all those you know that are bound, that are walking in darkness. Remember, somebody prayed you into the kingdom. Those chains that fell off of you, you know, somebody was crying out on your behalf. So anyway, I want to encourage you today to quit talking about people and, you know, the, they, they're in that mess because, you know, they're, they're wounded and they're hurt and they've offended or they're rejected or they're abandoned or it doesn't matter how they got there. They need you to be their champion and assessor, to stand in the gap and to make up the hedge and to cry out on behalf of their breakthrough and jailbreak in Jesus' name. So I love you today and I bless you and I got two more nuggets percolating, but I, I know I got a customer in my chair. So peace in, that surpasses all understanding. Love you. Bye-bye.